Hey dear love, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. This is your career focus. Watch out for the love focus and the health focus. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do about two and a half minutes of the Earth's energy, of the Spirit's energy, of the universe's energy. And then we're going to dive right into your personal star sign, moon sign, all of those signs energy all right so this is a month of sexual tension rechannel that to be productive and work for you all right you might just be needing to work on your own body get to learn yourself your hormones might be changing there's a lot of anger a lot of blow-ups waiting to happen so when you see people fidgeting get out of their way if you're the one that's fidgeting go rechannel that go work out go for a walk work with your hands and create something powerful and divine there's a lot of movement, a lot of a need to just function and to just be. So channel that into any kind of useful energy such as meditating, chanting, um, playing music, running, working out, playing with the kids, okay, playing a, a self game, whatever you need to do. But regenerate that, in, that energy. Um, there's a lot of anxious energy out there. Work on your goals. Uh, be determined to be successful. Become that business owner that you keep dreaming to be. The energy is there for you to succeed this month, but you've got to do the work. If you're trying to cut corners, it's not going to work. Power plays are out there. Don't be the one to get got, okay? You be the one to stay empowered in your authority, your personal authority, meaning self-develop. Be in charge of you. Make the changes you make within yourself. Don't try to force it on someone else, okay? The delays are real. Keep an eye on your keys. If the car is messing up, go get it checked out. Get second, third, seventh opinions. If you have to make a large purchase that you have not been researching, make sure that you bring someone you trust. Bring them in on the deal. Tell them the, what's going on. Trust them because they are your blessing in disguise and what they say is a message from the divine. Frustration is real. Disappointment is real. The shakeups are real. So watch your money. Reposition, refocus, re-strategize. Here you listen to this, okay? The peacemakers are causing waves. There's some that are lying. There's some that are real. You must use your intuition this month, okay? Get off the fence, make that choice to be successful, and you will be absolutely good. If you lie your way forward, you will fail, you will fall on your face. And spiritual superstars, you know that we don't ever want you to fail. We want you to be successful, and Divine Source truly does have your back. All right, let's get started. Divine Source, thank you so much. Aries, take a beautiful deep breath in. Raise your vibration. Challenge your human. Come on, come on now. Blow it out. All right. Thank you so much. Aries, you come into October. Woo! And it's all about you. You have our full moon on October 1st. Be careful because there's some energy out there have you seen in the beginning and in the intro um, that's really going to cause you to want to be angry but Spirit's telling you that you are the light. You don't have time for that, okay? You have time to work on your business. Stay connected with Source. These are the times when you really don't want to because um, you just want to you just want to, you're happy, you know, you want to stay happy and you want to stay focused forward. Spirit saying, stay connected. Um, when we tend to pull away is when we allow other people to steal our peace and our happiness. You are the caregiver. You are absolutely loyal to family. Watch out for the family that wants to take advantage of you. And watch out for the family and the loved ones and the friends that really want to take from you and not give to you, okay? Don't forget about that. You are to be cared for and to be treated with respect and with love. And so accept that support that you need too. 
you know, caregivers need that also. They don't just need to walk through life taking care of everybody else. And Aries, Spirit is telling you that right now. This is the month where you also are starting new in love. So watch out for the love focus, but certainly stay connected no matter what. When you do that, you are connected through that lotus flower of divine healing and divine connection. And remember this, when you've got to make a decision, honey, remember to call on the Most High no matter what, no matter if you call God, God, Divine Source, Allah, Jehovah, our Lord and Savior, call on Spirit, call on Spirit, okay? Around the 16th, the new moon for you, dear Aries, This is absolutely doing something that you love. It's, it's blessed. You are passionate about it. This is a do-over for you with the rebirth, your energy. You are all spring equinox energy. You are the pioneer. Woo! And I believe the veil is being lifted for you. I don't believe that fog is going to continue if you've been feeling funky, because by the end of the month, this is about you understanding your self-worth and your value. This is also a month in your career life, this is saying, you know, shine. You have to be doing something that you truly love. You've got to be looking out for other people and taking care of people. But just remember that you can do that. But still, always look out for yourself. And now a lot of people say, well, Aries is very selfish energy. But you know what? Remember the intro. Channel that into being healthy, selfish, okay? This month, when you stay connected, you're getting that rebirth. When you are shining with the light of the divine, honey, that veil is lifted. The confusion is gone. So remember to meditate. Your energy is best served this month in your career focus, in doing what you need to do to be happy. When you're focused on your gifts, I didn't say focused on your passion, when you focus on your gifts, Aries, I believe Spirit is absolutely blessing you to have this rebirth and helping you make your dreams come true. The new moon around the 16th, give or take 72 hours, is in your opposite energy and that energy is all about your money, okay? It's all about starting new, starting fresh. And that energy that says, this is what I need to make every month. So have your goals. Write it down. Plan your goal and work your plan this month, okay, Aries? This is also a month. I just heard... Watch out for the deception. Do not be deceived by those eyes. I feel like people are going to be batting their eyes at you. I feel like somebody is playing games with you and Spirit is saying, don't let that confuse you. Don't let that energy pull you away from your blessings. Don't let nobody take any money from you and um, tell you that they're going to pay you back that you loan them money or something, and you don't have it in writing. This is the month to really look past, this is my sister, this is my brother, this is my child. Put it in writing because that's also blessing them to do business with integrity, okay? Um, but I really do feel like some of you are on that end of needing to ask people for, to borrow a couple of bucks. And I just feel like, you know, Put it in writing. Tell them, you know, listen, this is a business transaction and I want to handle it as such. Because at the end of the month, you've got that flip, I believe, within, by the mid-month to the end of the month, you've got this flip of I know what to do in order to make my career choice work for me and in order for me to retire earlier than first projected and also the awareness of you're not making enough money doing what you're doing. So I feel like this is the month for you to really pour into that plan. Consult with your uh, manager, your financial advisor. Consult with your spiritual teacher, 
whomever it is that you are closest to that you trust, consult with them, your business partner, whoever it is, your parents, your counselor, whoever it is, teacher, consult because this is the month where you really want to have that strategy and you want people to see the light that you are and you don't want to be taken advantage of because you're gonna oh you always want to look out for somebody and um spirit is telling you you deserve that recognition of who you really are and to let that energy be shown because i feel like the deception is there in your career i feel like um feeling also feeling the need to have to do everything you know because any no one else is going to pick up the pace but sometimes you have to have that rebirth of self by staying connected, by going into prayer, by meditating with the divine. And being separated from all else instead of pulling away from divine source. But now is the month for you to really pour in to your relationship with God and restructure the work that you do and I feel like before we go deeper into your career I think I'm seeing ooh, your chakras so let's go ahead and do that thank you so much divine source thank you so much thank you so much heavenly angels thank you so much all right, all right. Thank you so much. So, absolutely pouring in to your connection with the divine, your spiritual teachers, your uh, spiritual advisor, your your counselor, whomever it is. And this energy is uh, topaz. And this energy is facing your fears as well, okay? So the legend here, and also this is your intuition, all right? This is your intuition, and this is your third chakra. And so it will behoove you to use something yellow. Just carry something yellow around. Just focus on, you know, I've got my, my just a regular cup of water right here with lemon in it. And that's what you want to do. You want to just be consumed with yellow and that hue is listening to your intuition so that that fog can clear and you can have the clarity that spirit wants you to have. If I seek peace, I must embrace my fears. The legend here is Topaz is a renowned spiritual teacher. People travel to hear his wisdom. He is journeying up a mountain to seek private counsel with the great servant. When a young boy stops him, the boy asks, if enlightenment is to be found in my own mind, how do I get there? The moment before he disappears into the mist, Topaz replies, through your fears. Aries, the inspiration here is at this time, your journey is more important than your destination. Remember, if you face your fear, you will grow stronger. Relief awaits. Your personal inquiry to meditate on. My thoughts always drive my choices. How can I use my thoughts to heal myself? Your key ideas to meditate on are path to enlightenment, the reluctant sage. Taking time alone to connect with source, trusting your intuition, heeding advice, needing solitude, time for reflection. Your key words to meditate on are support, courage, and confidence. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. 
gotta meditate you know mix some yoga up in there if you need to but certainly work on rechanneling that anger energy that's going to try to egg you on into an argument it's trying to block your blessings so remember that um, you be the one seeking peace don't let anybody steal your joy don't let anybody steal your peace and certainly don't let anybody make any power moves or money play moves um, to shake up your money because as long as you are connected with the divine and you are seeking the right counsel, justice will prevail on your side. Okay, remember that. Keep your integrity and you've got to do something that you truly do love to help someone else. Remember that. Let me show you this again. I feel like spirit is just using a a speaker to a foghorn to get your attention that yes you are doing the right line of work by helping other people but you also have to remember that going too far can ultimately block your own blessings as well and spirits telling you don't let that happen because you've got blessings coming in all right Excuse me. All right, all right. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for dear Aries. Aries, so this is a new beginning uh, mid-month, okay, around the 16th. Really focus on partners, your business partners. Who are they? Do they have integrity? Are you connecting with them enough? Are you doing too much? Are you doing enough? Are you giving up? You know, are you using your connections at work to build your business? Or are you just kind of going through life and just happenstance? Remember this, that this is a month of money-making moves for you, especially, okay? You come in the month with an ability to unload and to release all the things about yourself that you've had a hard time of releasing and detaching from. Your awakening is pretty, pretty clear in detaching from the shadowy sides of yourself in order to rebirth the new you. And that can very well come through in a hairstyle, different makeup, your dress, attire, the way you groom yourself, but it certainly is, dear Aries, in the way that you value yourself and the work that you do, how you value that. And you're going to be rewarded based on that. So remember that by mid-month, this is a new beginning in how you really see your money. Are you? Do you feel like you deserve the success that Spirit's telling you and showing you in your spiritual guidance that you deserve and that Spirit has waiting right behind that right door. Are you making the right choices? Are you making the right decisions? Or are you just moving right along every day in ignorance or in dark? You don't want to do that. You want to step into the light. As Spirit showed you earlier, that is your energy. By the last day of the month, that full moon is going to be something serious for you. And it certainly is going to trigger something in you that says, I don't deserve this. I deserve this. I don't value that. I value this. My self-worth is does have nothing. It doesn't have anything to do with this. This is my self-worth. I don't appreciate or respect this person, but I certainly do want to vibe high with these people over here. And so there's definite movement in the right direction for you. All right. Thank you so much. In your career and in your money. Thank you 
so much. Remember to look out for your love because that's going to be something fierce. I look forward to that. Look at that. So you are moving and that's good. You're moving with direction. There's just, you know, a need for you to be doing what you love. And I feel like you just kind of lost your way. I feel like Spirit's telling you there's justice again. That once you get back on track and... Uh, some of you, I feel like, you know, it's, it's life circumstances, but a lot of you, I feel like it's really mental health that spirit is telling you um, has really taken you to a part of your life that you have control to reverse. You're starting fresh, and this is a new direction. It is certainly a new path. And I feel very strongly that there, the abundance is there. You just have to get out of your own way. And you have to decide to do what you love for a living. You have to decide to help people that need your help, not the people that you choose to help because it's easier to help those certain people. Honey, you've got so much here that says you're sabotaging yourself, you're sabotaging your own success, and, oh, Lord, have mercy. It's, here it is. It's because you feel like there's depression here. There's sadness here. And I feel like you feel like you don't have support. You certainly do. And we're going to go deeper into this in just a moment. But I feel like there is a very strong positive outcome and you've got to make that choice. You must decide that where you're at is meant to be and you must decide to make that move, okay? There's certainly happiness here, dear Aries. I feel like you come into October in your business, in your money, in your career focus with a strong desire to make the move in the direction of doing what you love, but you're just conflicted on how to do it. And there's so many choices there. You can take one or two paths, so narrow it down. And take the blinders off because that fog, that veil has been lifted, but you have to get out of your own way. When you feel stuck and stagnant this month, it is because you are playing it small and listen to what Spirit is saying right here. It is because you don't want to do the work. And I get it. Spirit gets it. But honey, you've got to follow the proven path that you paid for. You already invested so much time and energy in a certain direction. And Spirit is telling you, continue in that path. Justice is there. You've already seen remnants of it happening. You've already received manifestations of working your plan and planning your goal. Now there's a rebirth. And you're right at that moment of, I've got to take that leap of faith. And I feel like you're afraid to fail. You're afraid to fall. You're afraid to have to start over. You're afraid of what people are saying to you. I feel like you are so afraid of their negativity coming true. You're afraid of the negative prophecy. But let me, be, let me remind you, let me be very clear of what I'm hearing. The second you get out of your own way, dear Aries, Honey, the waterfall is coming in with an infinite abundance that you won't be able to stop. But you have to see your way forward by taking that, just that step, baby step. Okay, baby step. The environment that you have poured yourself into, a lot of you have gone back to the work that you know you can do instead of working on your business. You have given up when someone blessed you with the opportunity, emailed you the opportunity, in 
inboxed you the opportunity. Divine Source literally sent you the post of this amazing opportunity you've been praying for and you totally didn't want to do the work and that's not like you. And so Spirit is telling you get out of that funky energy because I've got your dreams coming true. I've got them coming true. I've got you starting over. I've got you getting more than you ever dreamed you could ever have. And so remember that your limitation is not God's blessing. All right? What you're hoping and praying for is that you can do it on your own. You can't. You must have help. When people are asking you, how can I help you? What can I do for you? Tell them. Even if you don't know what it is, tell them, I don't know, but I need your help. I don't know. what, And then they're going to ask you, what's your goal? If they don't ask you that, tell them, I don't know, but I sure could use help because I know that I'm getting the same results I've always gotten and that's not where God's got me going. I know my blessing is coming in the corner, around the corner. I know my blessing is on the way. I just don't know what's standing in my way of getting it. How do I receive? I can give, 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 but I don't know how to receive. Now spirits like this. Some of you have just lost your way. You got to get out of your own way, okay? You got to un, got to release the control. Get out of your own way and receive that support and that help from your trusted ally because they're there. And they want to help you. You're in fear of losing more than you. You put in a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy into this new business venture, into this new um, change of career, this new industry, and you've put a lot of research, and some of you have. But it's the research that's really your mind space. It's taking up too much mind space, space not enough action. And you're fearing taking that action. You've got to take it. And I feel like some of you are so afraid to just ask for that help. Some of you don't know who to help, who to ask for. Um, reach out to me, I'll tell you. Share it with me in the comment section and I'll, I'll answer you. But, uh, and, you know, look into a reading and we can go personal and very detailed that way. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's see where your strength is with your animal spirit guides, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But this is good. Conflict is good because it means that you're not happy. You're not satisfied with where you're at. And you know that you've got to move forward. That's really good. You're not complacent. It might feel like it at times because I do feel like many of you are battling depression. And I'm very serious about mental health. And we're going to give you your affirmations that I want you to make sure you write down. And I want you to go back over and see where Spirit was telling you to focus on with your meditation and your affirmations and your chakra. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But some of you make no mistake, if you have built a really good foundation... But now it's a matter of getting out of your own way. Wow, and you've got the spirit of the hummingbird. That's a beautiful sign. Be in the here and the now, the sweetness of life. Focus on being grateful for what you have right now. Focus on each moment and not focusing so far ahead of you that it's getting you, it's overwhelming. <laughs> this is beautiful. All right. So this is a beautiful new deck by Colette Baron reed And I'm going to go back to the hummingbird. And you've got 34 here. And that is the fact that you're going in the right direction. You've started this new foundation, this new path. And spirit is right there leading you to the sweetness the nectar of your success. All right? Move. Okay, the hummingbird's wings move very swiftly. And spirit is reminding you that the beauty and sweetness of life is in the eternal now. The timeless present. Here and now, 
You are becoming the person you wish to be, to have the experiences you wish to have. You must move your feet. You must focus your energy on the flower before you. And that sweetness is going to make your dreams come true. Okay, that nectar is everywhere, dear Aries. Focus on that one flower today. Many uh, times um, we hear that, what do we focus on? You wake up and you've got all these things coming at you. Focus on the one big thing. We call it the one big domino. Okay, I teach people that in our business class. I teach it to my team, uh, my business team. You must focus on that one big domino. What do you need to do today in order to knock out the rest of those dominoes? Okay, you focus on that and you will feel so empowered the rest of your day. I want you to make sure you write this down, write it in your journal. Become it, let it become you. I have the attitude of gratitude for the opportunities that coincide with the change I experience each day. Because you are in the here and now. Well, dear Aries, thank you so much for allowing me to channel your spiritual guidance with complete accuracy and love from the divine. And if there's anything that I can do for you, remember that we have a coaching scholarship just for you. And so click the links down below. We also have some new pricing for our readings as we have been super blessed and we are sharing that blessing on to you. Please stay safe, stay blessed bless others, and remember to look out for the love focus and the health focus. Mwah. I'll see you soon.